This is the AP Physics Photo Contest. It's really linked to a national physics photo contest that we actually will be submitting some of these entries to. I held a spoon underneath the faucet and it kind of showed like when the water hit the spoon it um, kind of like made form like a bubble and it's kind of like, caused by like the kinetic energy and the shape of the spoon so I kind of explained that in my video of my photo. I set a leaf on top of water and it displayed surface tension. Um, I explained it through using cohesive and adhesive forces between the water molecules between the water and the leaf. So I took a picture of the Blue Lagoon geothermal spot. I took it back in um, July when I was in Iceland. I talked about how the lagoon is actually not natural, how it's man-made, and how um, the, the minerals in the water come from like below the ground, like in the geologic layers, and how they're pushed up to the surface, and the effect that they have on the skin. There were directions with the gallery, like, so, like certain like specifications, but like he kind of gave you like a little bit more like like freedom, I guess, to kind of like venture off into whatever you wanted to do, and um, like it kind of gave you like I guess like more opportunity to like explore kind of what you like really wanted to like focus on in physics. I'm kind of into photography and being more creative than having like a set like procedure that I need to follow. So I think this just allowed my creativeness to just go free and it, I just really enjoyed it. Especially with like AP classes, a lot of times teachers are focused on uh, just like getting the material of the test learned, which is understandable because that's like the intent of the course. But I think this gallery allowed to um, experience science in a much more broad way and look at things that are not just, you know, in the material, like in our course curricula. Well, people like can come together and like think of different ways to solve problems. I think that's kind of like a neat way to do this. Like people have different ideas about different like concepts in physics. So I think like do especially with this gallery, like people have different ideas about their photos and different way to display things. So I think it was a really cool thing that Mr. Glenn set up. The students can be creative. They can link the uh, physics and the world around them through their photos um, to the concepts that we actually learn in class, allowing them to to see that physics both in natural events around their life or contrived events where they can actually like focus on a physics concept that they enjoy um, but just trying to make those connections to the real world